It's the product video for the 6-37952, number 345 culvert unloader, and the 6-37972 Bethlehem steel culvert unloader. Out of the package you will receive the culvert unloader itself, the instruction manual, the ramp to tie the culvert unloader ramp to the culvert loader, which is available separately, eight steel culverts, four hookup wires, and an on-off switch. You'll notice that this culvert loader, unloader rather, is equipped with a much larger base than the original culvert unloader released in 1998. This larger trough allows you to place fast track in the accessory. The accessory also has two alignment tabs for using O or O27 track. Also available separately is the 6-37951 number 342 culvert loader. And as we have here, the 6-37971 Bethlehem Steel loader. Out of the box, you'll get the loader accessory, the instruction manual, eight steel culverts, the four hookup wires, and the momentary on-off switch. These accessories are designed to be operated using 14 to 18 volts of AC power. To wire your accessory, you simply put your transformer accessory leads on these two posts, clearly labeled transformer. On the two post labeled switch, the wires for your switch connect. You have one wire on one side of the switch, one wire on the opposite side of the switch. A wire goes to one post, the other wire goes to the opposite post. When you slide the switch, it turns the accessory on. Sliding the switch the opposite way turns the accessory off. The culvert loader and unloader are designed to be used as a pair. The culvert unloader comes equipped with this extension ramp. Basically the extension ramp inserts the two tabs insert into the loader and in turn drops in place on the unloader. You can see the distance between the two accessories. It is a good idea to screw these accessories to the layout to prevent them from moving. If you're using O27 or O gauge track, you want to use these alignment tabs in the base of the accessory to place the outside rail in that uh, channel. What that will do is that will line the track properly so that the accessory come down and grab the culverts out of your gondola. If you're using fast track, simply place the section of fast track right in the trough making sure that uh, nothing on the underside of the track is hitting those alignment tabs and the fast track will sit right in the trough and align the car properly. To properly operate both the culvert loader and unloader you will need a culvert gondola. To date Lionel has produced six of these gondolas. Starting in 1998-99, we had a 6-19429 Lionel Lines culvert gondola. In 99, there's a 6-19478 New York Central black culvert gondola. 2001, the 6-19485 Pennsylvania Railroad culvert gondola, which you see here. In 2008, we shipped a 6-39472 Santa Fe culvert gondola. 2011, in the CNO promotional set, the 6-38349 set, there's a 6-27784 red New York Central culvert gondola. And just recently, we have shipped the 6-37057 Bethlehem Steel Culvert Gondola. Of course, any gondola from the post-war or MPC era will work as equally as the new ones. We have a simple CW80 connected to these two accessories, running at roughly 14 volts. 
With power on and the switch off, you can see that the interior illumination in both the loader house and the unloader house are illuminated. These accessories feature a infrared eye between the base and the post that holds up the beam. As you can see when that beam of light is broken, the strobes on the top of the beam begin to flash. That tells you that, or that tells the accessory that there is actually a car in position and prevents that accessory from running non-stop. So once the car is placed and breaks that beam of light, these lights begin to flash to tell you that the car is in position and you can activate the accessory. To turn the accessory on, you simply use the switch that came with it, put it in the on position, and the accessory will begin to operate. As soon as the car leaves and breaks that IR beam, the accessory comes to a dead standstill. The lights be stop flashing. Put the car back in position and the accessory returns to operate. To turn this off, simply turn off the switch that came with the accessory. The lights still continue to flash to tell you that the beam is broken. The same functionality operates the same on the unloader. As Soon as the car breaks the beam of light, the strobes begin flashing to tell you that the car is in position or something is in position. Using the on off switch, you can turn the accessory on. It's important to note that these infrared light sensors, the sensor is actually out here on the post. So the spectrum of light is sent from the base this way. It is possible to have ambient light affect the receiver out on the post for the beam. The best way to figure that out is to simply take your hand and place it between the the base and the outside beam or outside post. If the lights flash, take your hand away. They stop flashing. If you position your car here and the lights flash and then turn off and don't flash, it's because ambient light is, is hitting this photo eye. Easiest way to fix that is a small piece of electrical tape. You can even take some gray paint that matches this accessory and paint the side of the eye. Just have to be absolutely certain that you don't cover the eye up entirely or these lights will flash all the time regardless of whether a car is in position or not. So let's go ahead and put our culverts in here and uh, get to operating our accessories. So once again, the lights are off. We place the car in position. The lights flash. We turn the accessory on. It's important to note that both of these accessories have adjustment screws up here on the beam. These adjustment screws can be loosened and the small switch in there can be adjusted towards the base of the accessory or out towards the end of the accessory. That adjustment will control the distance that this motor conveyor assembly travels. So after installing this on your layout, if you find that you run out here and it drops the culverts in and they always end up sideways instead of rolling down properly as it has in this example. Simply use a small number zero Phillips head screwdriver, loosen these screws, don't take them out, just loosen them, and you can adjust the travel of this cherry switch or the small momentary contact switch on, in the inside of that beam, which will ultimately adjust the, the distance that this conveyor assembly travels. The same is true for the switch on the back. If your accessory on your layout comes back and it drops, it's not picking the culverts up completely, you can move that switch back 
so that when the conveyor travels back, it travels far enough to grab the culvert to take out to the car. Now we're going to go ahead and move our gondola down to the unloader. Position it here and turn the accessory on. This is a perfect example of that IR beam not being broken. So we can adjust the car a bit. That still didn't fix it. Well, there we go. In an instance like this, where the culvert ends up sideways, here again, we can change the adjustment of this cherry switch so that our culverts drop in and roll down the ramp properly. Let's go ahead and do that now so I can show you exactly how that's done. Turn the accessory off. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to loosen these screws. We're going to just move this switch slightly towards the outside edge and tighten them up. Now we're turning the accessory back on with a culvert in the gondola. Same thing. So just another small adjustment needs to be made. Very simple to adjust this. We'll move it all the way out. Try it again. As you can see, a little bit more fine tuning is required. It's also important to look at the uh, swing doors here. These are spring loaded doors. It could just be that uh, the uh, vertical post needs a, a slight adjustment, bending it one way or the other, so that the culvert comes, hit, hits these two pieces evenly to allow it to drop straight. It appears as though what's happening is it's only hitting one and swinging sideways. So let's just make a small adjustment here. Turn the accessory back on. We're just going to experiment with it by holding it over. And there it is. So just a little bit of a manual tweak on this post. Get that accessory to drop in there properly. As with all Lino accessories, Never pull these out of the box and show them off to all your friends the minute, the day you get them, because like every other instance, it'll never work. Make sure that you put it together, set it up, make your minor adjustments and tweaks, and then show your friends. Okay. That's basically the culvert unloader and the culvert loader accessories. If you have any questions about your culvert loader or unloader, please don't hesitate to contact Lionel Customer Service at 586-949-4100, extension 2. Both the 
342 and 345 uh, traditional accessories in the traditional colors, the tan base with the gray ramp, and also the Bethlehem steel accessories with the gray building and the gray base. These are at your dealer now. We hope you enjoy these accessories, and we'll see you next time.